Um, so hi everyone. Uh, this is Dunya. Uh, I work as a research associate in Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. Uh, my mentors in this in this project were Sai Chen and Sherwood Moore, and we worked together uh, under the project named Documentation and Use Cases for Climate uh, for Climate Action. Uh, so first, uh, I'll start with a quick description of the project. It's a project that falls under the climate action and accounting group. And uh, in this project, well, we were trying to uh, unfold and uh, understand the structure and the dynamics of the voluntary carbon offsets market. Uh, it's a market that um, that's facing several uh, challenges. And um, what we were trying to hear to do is to really hear from the, the uh, field experts and the stakeholders uh, to hear about their, their experiences and the challenges they struggle with in order to find a suitable solution to them. Um, so in a nutshell, this project came with the aims to uh, understand and unfold the characteristics of the market, analyze the findings that we find throughout the project, and finally identify how blockchain can be used in order to improve the voluntary carbon offset market. Uh, so the, the, the objectives of the project can be distinguished into five main ones. Like the first one was mapping out the ecosystem of the market and the, identifying the key participants and stakeholders. The, the second objective was uh, to find, reach out and interview the uh, various market uh, stakeholders that we uh, categorized under developers, buyers, brokers, standards and government entities. The third objective was identifying the key challenges that the market is struggling with. And uh, the fourth objective was analyzing the findings. And finally, uh, the, the fifth objective was drafting a paper. We had um, five deliver deliverables for this project. First, uh, I had to conduct a literature review about the background of the voluntary carbon offset market, and, uh, including the citations, of course. Uh, the second deliverable was in interviewing the stakeholders of the ecosystem. The third deliverable was providing the architecture for the voluntary carbon offset market based on the interviews, ecosystem mapping, and the literature review conducted at the beginning. The fourth deliverable was wrapping up the paper, uh, and the fifth deliverable was is submitting the paper to a journal for a publication. So what we accomplished so far was uh, the, we did the literature review, we uh, interviewed our stakeholders, and we, uh, an we analyzed the findings, and we drafted the paper, which is ready for the public review. Uh, what we didn't uh, complete yet is submitting the paper for publication, and that's because we're, um, we're waiting for uh, some feedback from the people that we interviewed and even people from this community. Uh, we, we, we faced a uh, couple of challenges. Uh, first, we, there is a scarcity of the literature. The voluntary carbon offset uh, field uh, is not that, that explored or compared to the compliance market, for instance. And so we struggled with uh, finding some data and collecting and the collection of data. Uh, we, we also uh, struggled with um, getting, getting responses from uh, the people that we were reaching out to. Sometimes we would not get, uh, we would not get responses and that slowed, slowed us sometimes, uh, but we, we, uh, we overcame that. And the other challenge was analyzing the qualitative data. Uh, which is uh, like unlike the quantitative, uh, it's very challenging to analyze uh, responses from surveys, uh, which is qualitative and in interviews. Um, so as I said, for the project's uh, output or results, uh, we we draft the paper, which is uh, ready for your 
uh, review in the wiki hyperledger uh, uh, link here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's available here for your review and we will appreciate your participation in giving us insights about the paper. Uh, any uh, type of uh, comments, uh, what do you think we should add or remove? Uh, anything would be appreciated. Uh, so, as I said, you can have access to the, pa to the paper. It's, it's very detailed. You can have, uh, 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 you can go through it in, in order to understand what's, what has been done in the literature review, how the interviews were conducted, who did we interview, and uh, you can read the, the details of the results. But I wanted to give you a, just a snapshot uh, here uh, from from the results. Uh, so we found that the top three uh, challenges that stakeholders face are quality, transparency, and cost. And he, even here, uh, as you can see uh, in the second figure, uh, 21 out of 30 people that we interviewed said that quality was an issue. Uh, 16 said that transparency was a key challenge and 12 said that cost uh, our challenge. Uh, here uh, I have a heat map that shows the top challenges uh, uh, per, uh, as, like for each type of uh, stakeholders. For instance, for the developers, 100% of them said that quality was an issue. Uh, for standards, 80% said that cost and scale uh, are an issue uh, or are the main issue to them. Um, here, for instance, for the brokers, 63% said that quality, again, is an issue. Buyers, 100% said that quality is an issue. Governments see that transparency, or 80% of them uh, said that transparency is the main uh, challenge uh, that they face. So that brings us to the conclusion that we made at the end of this study, that we really need to create a robust, uh, rigorous system that establish reputation for the stakeholders in, in this market. And that's where uh, blockchain can come in. So for uh, like a recommendation for future work, uh, we would love to design a blockchain based system uh, to build a reputation system for the market. Another recommendation is for future work is, is to incre increase the number of interviews uh, to really have to like make a uh, very firm and revealing conclusion. Uh, another uh, recommendation is to conduct a follow up study to include more participants and to even test different approaches. Some of the insights gained in this project, I really appreciate the valuable insights from my mentors and Chris, who helped who helped a lot in, the, in this project. My mentors were always there to provide uh, their guidance and help whenever needed, which I really appreciate. Uh, I, I also had the chance to have several interactions with different experts uh, from the field, and that really helped me grow up professionally a lot. I uh, even learned how to drive an, inter uh, an interview uh, to get the best out of the person in front of me. Uh, some pieces of advice that I would love to give to uh, the future mentees is to really use this opportunity to grow their professional network and to learn as much as possible from the experience and the knowledge of their mentors. To uh, another uh, piece of advice is to uh, really have a clear plan of deliverables and objectives from day one, because that makes life easier. And finally, to always reach out for help uh, whenever needed. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please, please ask. Thank you, Dunya. 